Hello again, everyone, and welcome back to the Valorian Guards. Long live the Emperor, episode 24. Unknown to all of you guys, I have been plagued with technical issues like you wouldn't believe. And this is actually attempt number four. Yeah, number four, guys, to try and get this stupid ridiculous programming called twitch to work or maybe it's just my internet australian internet gotta love it gotta love it some days yeah yeah you do but we're not here about internet connections technical issues stuff like that we're here to finally finally kick the austrians in the butt. And where are we going to do that? In Transylvania. Mm. As well as that, we've got to kick the Austrian. Uh, not the Austrian. Yeah, we've got to kick the Austrians. We've got to kick the Russians. Now, the ultimate goal of this stream is to release the pressure off Marcina, still down in Istanbul. If we can do that, I will be very, very happy. Our secondary objective is to get St. Petersburg. If we can get to there, I will be also very happy. And ultimately, we got to kill the Austrians. So, yeah. But many of you may be wondering during the last stream and this stream, when we jump over to it, where are the Prussians? Well, the Prussians are dead. Yes, they are. They were totally wiped out. Who did that? Well, it wasn't me. Well, I took over most of their territories, yes. But in the end, it wasn't me. It was Spain. Mm-hmm. Spain. Spain has in their control Warsaw. I really didn't want them to do that. For once, I actually wanted the Prussians to rise up, revolutions, and kick the Spaniards. But then I could come along and take over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, that didn't happen. Spain took over Warsaw, and now they own it. The Prussians are dead, and uh, we've got to now deal with the Russians and the Austrians. As well as that, there's the ultimate goal of returning back to Sicily and taking Sicily, as well as Naples, and everything else in between. But anyway, enough of my rambling. We'll jump over to the game screen and get this party started. Napoleon fire. Let's go. Alrighty. And hello to everyone who has joined me live and watching this over on YouTube later. Hope you're having a great day. Me? Yeah, 50-50. Right. So, as I said in the intro, we have Marcino, my main man, in Istanbul. Now, for all those who haven't yet watched the previous stream, I hope you have, because I'm going to spoil it for you if you haven't. Russia tried to kill Atsina. But didn't work. Did not work. Didn't work. He's still alive, he's still kicking, he's still in command of the Imperial Elite Force. Yes, he is. But I just had a look over in the background and you guys can actually see that in the top of the screen along that horizon line we still have russians yes we do but you may be asking since the Messina was so outnumbered how on earth did you pull off a miracle well 
it's all because of this guy here now this guy we had force marched him all the way from Belgrade in the Balkans all the way through down through the mountain path and then he got to about here and then two lots of Russian army sent by Tsar Alexander I of Russia siege Istanbul yeah they were dead set on killing Masina that they didn't notice this guy I mean behind him so he got to about here and then I initiated the attack we wiped them out well we wiped out one of them we forced the other one back so um that's given both this army here and my sinner time to replenish gather their forces and hopefully press the attack so that's all down in istanbul meanwhile as we said they've got russian armies all in here yep we have one russian army besieging Balkans so we've got to deal with that with this one just here and as well as that we have this absolute nick and poop who I actually wanted him to go this way but he didn't listen he he thought better he thought he was um, more capable on um, the terrain and layout of the land etc like that and went this way instead yeah yeah so um he's all poised he's basically an ambush but he doesn't really need to be because the austrians basically only have german fusiliers and militia and cavalry and their general of course but um they really don't have anything to uh, stop me and my grenadiers uh, Voltiers, Cannons, Cassiers, and Howister from absolutely killing them. Yeah, so that's that's one situation. Also, as mentioned, there are little spots of Russian, uh, not Russian, Austrian armies everywhere. But if we take Transylvania, they all die. So uh, that's the main goal there. Also, as mentioned, Spain owns Warsaw, Greater Poland. So, um, yeah. But you may all be wondering, this is all going on. Where is Napoleon? Napoleon is over here. He's right there. He's going to come here, knock on um, Lithuanian's door so uh, he's going to ask them whether or not he can stay for a while while I think it's Ney no it's not, it's Lanes and Ney right, okay so I knew one of them was Ney didn't know what the other one was mm. so those two are pushing up to uh, St. Petersburg up there when we get to St. Petersburg, I'm going to turn it into a forward operational base. Forward base of operation. Mm. Yes, I am. And then eventually we're going to push down through the heartlands of Russia to Moscow and basically do what Napoleon should have done instead of what we know in history as the doomed Russian campaign. Hmm. Ultimate History 101 with Valorian. You're welcome. Anyway, what we got to do is. There is it, Balkan. There it is. We got to deal with this over here. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, uh, au revoir. Hello, Russians. Right, what do we got here? So their initial force, apparently, numbers more than I do. We both have cannons, 
Oh, actually, the Russians have more cannons, more cavalry than I do. But what they make up in number, I make up in experience. And we all know that my cannons can basically put a uh, 10 pound cannonball through a keyhole. It's that deadly accurate. So without any further ado, we will save it. And uh, get this first battle of this first, of this first episode. No, it's not. Valorium? It's episode 24. We'll do that again, shall I? First battle of this episode. It's going to be an interesting stream, guys. And if you can't tell, I'm not really with it. But it's free entertainment for you guys, so uh, let's go. As well as that, I will get some uh, coffee. Maybe that will wake me up. Oh, that's good stuff, by the way. Ooh. Yep. Right. Hmm. Where am I going to put these? I don't really want them. I want them on the high ground, that's true. But, uh, got my outskirt buildings in the village just there wet powder makes misfires a certainty oh miss you it's just a little rain um you know yeah possible yeah i think i'm gonna go here uh, excuse me while guys you are no longer needed there the cannons are Voltiers, however you know what you're doing Gonna go there. Play the stakes. Oh yeah, I got you guys. Oh, I didn't know you that. Yeah, you guys go there. Hopefully you guys can go around on the right hand side. Take over a couple of those um, garrison buildings in the town and drive some of the um, Russians that way. Which means that you technically need support. Which we're going to give you in the way of Grenadels. Which means I've got to hold this tidal wave back with only my fusiliers, which I can do. I mean, my fusiliers basically fight like grenadiers, and my grenadiers fight like the old guards. Oh, just wondering, hang on, what's going on here? I knew I had more grenadiers than that. As I was saying, guys, it's going to be a great stream. But one of my fusiliers decided he's going to um, disguise himself as a grenadier. That's more like it. Get in the line. Right. These guys go over there. Actually, no. You guys go over there. Let's go over there, yep. Right. General. Go there. Yep, everyone's in position. Okay, let's go. Voltiers, supply stakes. Cannons, barrage the hell out of them. I don't technically believe you, monsieur. I really don't. You guys, over there. Renadales. Over there. Fuse it is. Over there. 
while I uh, basically sit here and listen to the cannons. And sadly, guys, the K key doesn't work in this one. Little World Rome 2, it does. Napoleon doesn't. But they can do that, which is the N key, which is very, very cool. Oh, hello. I can get some awesome thumbnails now. Yeah. Hello. Just found out a new trick, guys. I did. I did. I didn't know that. And, um, if anybody's wondering, Valorian, how did you find that out? I actually didn't. I didn't. A uh, great mentor and fellow streamer. He does a lot of um, Total War content. He's currently doing a lot of um, Warhammer. Warhammer 3 and all that. And um, he told me about it. He said that um, the K key normally does it. But if it doesn't, try the N key. And um, with Napoleon, K key doesn't do it. So the end key does. But um, it doesn't get rid of the flags and all that unless you um, take them all off, of course, in the settings. And, um, yeah. So, Beinhardt uh, X10, if you're watching these, thank you very much, sir, for uh, your help. And um, I also hope that his campaigns are doing okay. So if you like your Warhammer and Fantasy, go and check him out. Been uh, following his channel since 2016 when I first got really sick. And um, that other good stuff. And I actually sent a, uh, a package. I sent a package to him about two years ago, which he knows about. He, he will definitely know what package I'm talking about. And, um, yeah. Basically, basically made him ball his eyes out. <laughs> yeah, I'm wicked when that comes in that sense. Totally mean and nasty. It's just like my uh, troops here are going to be mean and nasty to the Russians. Because the Russians are uh, basically mean and nasty in their own right. Trying to pick on my sinner. What did my sinner ever do to them? Stop shooting me with big giant cannonballs. Alright, see if that will wake them up. Wake them up? I don't know. Come on, guys, fire those cannons, damn it. Don't embarrass me live on stream, okay? I told you that you could fit a nine pound cannonball through a keyhole. Do not embarrass me. They're gonna embarrass me, aren't they, guys? Yeah, today they will. Maybe I just should have stayed in bed and went, no, nope, sorry guys, stream's cancelled, I'm going back to bed. Hmm. Nah. That's no fun, Valorian. Where do we get our free entertainment from? I don't know, guys, you'll have to find it somewhere else today. Oh well. You take the good with the bad. Yesterday's stream was fine. Our, um, our Sonotica stream, that went fine. 
And if you guys haven't watched the Subnautica stream yet, which I will be posting over on... Um, whoa, guys, whoa, hold fire! You guys, over there, you guys, over there! The Russians are counter-attacking, sir! Yes, the Mongols are. Right, Grenadiers! Open fire and give them hell! Well, they're only the militia anyway. Oh, give them, give them hell. Give them a dose of French love. Come on, guys, get in another blasted building. Even my own soldiers do not want to follow orders today. What is going on? Yes, because I told you to do so. Thank you for following my orders, and now you can go home and you won't get yourselves all killed. Hopefully. Right. Diamond formation. Go after those uh, militia over there. You guys advance forward because you're being hit by cannons. Yes, you are. I actually think the cannons are firing, but because it's all hilly area, it's just basically hitting the side of the uh, side of the mound, not actual cannons. That's all fine. my stomach. Mm. I don't like it when that happens. Are you guys in that house yet? Yes you are. We've got uh, militia coming up there. Okay, we've got musketeers there. Mm -hmm. Oh, Dave, what are you doing? Getting yourselves laser tagged, that's what you're doing. Wipe out these corsets. Yeah, it's hitting the um I'm glad that our uh, mine and the Russians artillery aren't technically effective in this battle. will advance. I'm going to shoot those um, militia and then we can advance the line. Right. Thank you. Up over there. Right. You guys, I want in that townhouse don't need to be back there no more. Those guys can stay in that armory. Ooh. Arm square. You guys, take those um, Cossacks. The general, general, yes. Uh, the Russians, what about them? They're shooting big giant cannonballs at us, sir. What? Yes, sir. They're shooting big giant cannonballs at us. Well, isn't it normally we shoot cannonballs at them? Instead of the other way around? Yes, General, that is true. Then what's the problem? We have found our opposition to our cannons. What's that? Dirt. We have taken the building, sir. Dirt. The number one arch nemesis to a big giant cannonball. Sure. That's fine. Because we've got, uh, we've got cavalry and we've got uh, fusiliers of the line and all that stuff, so yeah. And we've got the grenadiers that are coming up 
Holy mother... Hey! Hey! Not for that! What do you think you're doing? What's a recovery, so we're gonna be a pain in the ass. Literally. It's not nice. Not nice. Recovery coming behind them over there. Please and thank you. Gonna do oi 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 No 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 Russia No Yes Yes thing is sneaky today Russia Did you get a new uh new petitional general or something? Is the AI is playing smart today? Either that or I'm making stupid moves and the AI are taking advantage of it. That could be a thing. Huh. Stop shooting my grenadiers. Yeah, shoot back. Shoot them. Well done, cannons. Well done, artillery. Alright, diamond formation. Let's see if you can do this again. Alright, do the whiz. Advance. Every. I want you to come down now and get their artillery. This is very dangerous for my uh, cavalry and my fusiliers. Yes, it is. Why? Well, uh, one, cannons, the Russian ones, can instantly change over to uh, canister and start shooting my men. Yeah. One square. And start shooting my uh my men with it. Pull back cover eight. Get out of there right now. But right now it doesn't seem to be that's the case. I say that in the next we minute. Killed their general, sir. Now Wunderbar. Money thick. You guys still dealing with that over there? Good. You guys advance to there. And um every come back and take out those damn cannons. Chill up. A lot harder said than done because they still have their um the infantry. Get that you get that. The infantry coming up in the center, so they will give you support. Grenadiers form bayonets and go. You guys come around and whack those musketeers. General! Oh. What is it now? Russians! Yes, if you're gonna tell me that they're lobbing giant cannonballs at me again, I'm gonna have you guillotine! No, General, they're not. What is it? They're fleeing. They're running. The chicken. We have victory. Good. They will report it to the Emperor. Like it I mention, General? Hmm, possible. If you don't bother me with the rush and the gun, come on. 
But where would the fun be in that? When it is, put your shiny sticks away, form up over there. Are these guys dead yet? Never they not. Ain't it? Charge. Ain't it? And charge. Oh, they saw my grenadiers coming and they're like, ah, hell no. Uh uh. Nope. We ain't dealing with that. We ain't dealing with French grenadiers. No. -uh. And if it's not obvious, guys, for all those new to this campaign, my number one best want to be a part of regiment or unit is the grenadiers. Now, I don't care if they're just normal grenadiers, old guard grenadiers, grenadier grenadiers, I don't care. Just think the grenadiers overall are really, really cool. Really cool. And, um, you may hear it a lot, but in this campaign, there was one Grenadier unit that I basically called the Devils in Red Coats. And they're not the British Grenadiers either. Oh, they're not. So who are they? They're the Swift Grenadiers. Also known as Napoleonic Mercenary Mandalorian Yes, the Swiss never really had a standing army, so they were basically mercenaries. And as we know, Mandalorians in Star Wars, yes guys, Star Wars, are mercenary bounty hunters. And whoever paid them the most, they basically worked for them. Pretty much the same thing with the Swiss. Yep. So, um, henceforth, the Swiss are basically mercenary Mandalorians of the Napoleonic Age. You're welcome. Right, so we wiped out 3,021 Russians. We lost 714 Frenchmen. Okay. So, uh, au revoir. Right. Take him. Wipe him out. What? Go after him. Get him. Kick him. Right. Now you. You can't go anywhere. Hmm. Okay. Okay. You just gotta keep an eye on that one there. Because if he advances, then Vulcans may be in a bit more trouble than I actually thought. Hmm. But I want that one dead, so you get him. Okay. You could technically take out the um, Ottoman Revolutionaries. Yeah, do that. No, you're gonna run as well. Okay. Okay. Right. Um. What are we? Ooh. Hello, Greece. Athens. I've totally forgotten about you, haven't I? Yes, we have. Not anymore. Haven't. Yep. Get that one and get that one. Hmm. Okay. Then Mark's over there getting coffee. Actually, what was the trade like? Ivory's actually come down. It was 64, I think. Let me if I'm wrong. Maybe it was 54. I don't know. But, um,. The top owner is Ivory, followed by Spice, and then Sugar. No, actually, it's Ivory, Sugar, Spice, then Cotton, Tea, 
then from here it goes tobacco uh, and then coffee so coffee down the bottom nobody really likes coffee oh I love coffee and I'm actually gonna get some more so you know hmm coffee mm. yeah but uh Apparently in the Napoleonic age, nobody liked coffee, they all liked tea. Like, so, yeah. And we're making an income of 32415 Yep. Napoleon, I'm basically doing what you should have been doing. <laughs> right. Now, um, yeah, Italians, I don't know what you're actually doing. You're having a party over there with all your friends and didn't invite me. Now, can you gather your forces and move out, please? Well, is that, I wanted to check eight turns. Right. So, our engineer school. We'll be ready in eight turns and then I can get those. Yeah, I can get them. But from that, I've got to move them all the way to the front line to deal with the Prussian. Uh, the Russians, sorry. Hmm. So, yeah, I might be able to recruit them, but will I ever actually use them? The answer to that would maybe no. As well as that, I have all guards. Yeah. Where did I... How did I... Well, rather, when did I get you guys? I don't know. I don't know. But uh, Napoleon is way the hell over... Over here. He's up over here. Well, you boys will have to go way over there. It's going to take you at least five turns to get to Napoleon. Yes, you are. And then out of this army. Hmm. Actually, I could put you to there. Actually, I'm going to put you there to support Napoleon. Because what I'm going to do with Napoleon's army is get him ready for his, um, Grenadiers. Ah, uh, his old guards, I mean. Of those go over there. Right. So Napoleon technically can't move now. Well, we can actually. You, yeah, you go back over there. Bernadotte, you treacherous excuse for a scumbag. You betray me and you become the future king of Sweden. And then declare war on me. Hmm. Not if you're dead. That could be a thing. Right. Get that. Get that. The more money than I know what to do with, guys. So we're gonna upgrade everything. Absolutely everything. Everything gets an upgrade. What are you doing there? You should be over there in that university. Not that I technically need you there because I'm almost completed in the research. But you'll stay over there. Yeah. Okay. 
So eventually, guys, we've got to basically turn around and head back and gobble up all these um, German states. Not that, so uh, that's going to be interesting. Hmm? Hmm? Okay. So can you actually move? No, you can't. That's right, you can't. All right. Uh, diplomacy. Nothing's really changed. You're No, nope. it hasn't changed anything in there. Hmm. Okay. Press the big shiny green button. End the turn. See what happens. Let's see whether or not Russia launches a counter-attack. Where did those Austrian armies just go? Where did those Austrian armies just go? The Ottomans think that they can do what the Russians didn't do. Really? Well, given the fact that you have guts, Ottomans, I'm actually going to give you the courtesy and the respect due to you. And I'm going to meet you on the battlefield. Just like I did in my uh, Roman um, campaign with the guys that basically attacked me in Pella I'm going to do the same thing for you guys because you got guts you got guts Ottomans you really do so that's what we're going to do we're going to uh, honor their bravery and respect them for their determination that's what we're going to do wow I like the Ottomans. I think that's going to be my next um, campaign, possibly. Playing as the Ottomans. That would be really fun. Never played as the Ottomans in a uh, Total War campaign yet. So that might be fun. It would be fun. It's me. Alright guys, I want, the, uh, I want the cannons next to that outhouse, just there. Yeah, I know it smells like something you've eaten for breakfast, but uh, I want, want the playground, so you're going to stay there. Um, where are my Voltiers? Oh, I've only got one Voltier. I've only got one? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, I want you guys there. I didn't know I had only one Voltier. Well, we have to recruit some more. Right, um, now we start. Uh, yeah, you go on the other side of that outhouse there. Just there. Yeah, I know, it stinks, it smells, but you'll get over it. Um, Sinian Guards. Now, I did have a few comments asking me what are the Messinian Guards? Basically, those comments came from the ones that have basically just joined this um, campaign. The Messinian Guards are these guys right here. Those guys. Now, why are they in the, the uh, Mycenaean Guards? Well, they've been in Mycenae's army, or part of his army, since day one of this um, campaign. And even the one previous 
to uh, this one. This one's actually season two. It's season one on YouTube and on Twitch because of the fact that I didn't record. Well, I did record, but I never posted up the first campaign. So, um, yeah. So they're the Messinian Guards, and they've always been in Messina's army since day one, and possibly will be there for the distant long-term future. So, all those who are wondering, what are the, the uh, Messinian Guards? We don't know. They've never been in history. No, they've never been in history, but they're part of Messina's army in this campaign. Right, um, you guys over there. And trenches. Yeah, Marcina, your army is actually being beaten up a lot more than I thought it has. You guys go down, down. Then we've got you guys. Um, yeah, you guys come over here. Just that. Then I want to use... Ooh, actually. No, I can't. Mm. So they're going to be sneaky. You guys can go in there. And you guys go into that town hall. And then these two go along there. Yeah. Cavalry, you guys come down there. Let's see now, you're overseeing the cannons like you should be. Right, let's go. Let's honor these, uh, these Ottomans in the best way we know how. You guys, go over there. Taken the building, sir. Yes, because I told you to do so. Every over on the right hand side for our flanks, please. Here they come, boys! Ouch. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. Sadly, you speak the truth, monsieur, but these Ottomans, they got guts. They really do have guts. To attempt to do what the Russians were meant to do, these guys have guts. Will definitely be remembered by the uh, Messinian guards, Messina himself, and this Imperial elite army. With their determination and bravery. Yeah, you guys. You guys will definitely be remembered. Die well. I was on a... Oh. They're definitely giving the Ottomans a send-off they deserve, that's for sure. Ooh. 
more of those guns. Oh. It's just... I've said it a million times during this campaign, guys. This whole entire period of history, the Napoleonic Wars, it's just something totally different about it. I don't know what it is, it's just... It's nothing like anything we, we know. It's just something about it. It's got this... This charm about it, I guess you would call it. And, um... My granddad had a saying that about the, the um, Napoleonic Wars, but it was a time when you had wooden ships and iron men, basically meaning that the men, Nelson, all that type of stuff, they had guts, basically just like the uh, the Ottomans that we're fighting now. They had courage, strength honor, respect, all that type of stuff, and they basically had paper-thin ships, or wooden ships, unlike today, and yes, I do know that what I'm about to say is going to offend a lot of people, and I've got nothing against the um, military or anything like that, I've got family, I've got friends who are in the military forces, but the saying that my granddad had is back in the Napoleonic Napoleonic age you had iron men and wooden ships, not iron ships and wooden men. Yeah. So um it took me a while to understand what was my granddad on about. And then I finally found out what he actually meant. And it's true. It is true to a certain extent. It is true. We got all this technology and can basically blow countries off the map with a press of a button and not have the honor or the respect due to the enemy and vice versa of meeting them on an open battle like this. And I think that's what gives the Napoleonic Wars and the age and period the charm that it has. But they weren't afraid of saying, okay, I'll meet you out the back, bring all you guys with you, and I'm going to beat you senseless. Today, it's like, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to push a few buttons and launch missiles and goodness knows what and blow you off the face of the earth. Maybe I'm just rambling. I don't know. But anyway, in the battle, wrote victory for Massina and a, sadly the end of the Ottomans. Yeah, guys, you have definitely fought well. You will be definitely remembered by the Messinian guards. I was on a boys. Right. Well, where was... Here it is. Over here. So, we needed that one, and we needed... Now we actually can't recruit you guys yet because it's still in construction. That's why we didn't have the um, Voltiers. Okay, that makes sense now. Mm -hmm. right, uh, give me that. You guys go over there and kick those Russians in the teeth. And auto that. We lost 456, wiped out the Russians, thank you very much, prepare that. Right, where did that Russian army go? It disappeared. It's disappeared. And so did this one over here. Okay. You need to go back there. Mm, no, actually, it was that one there, wasn't it? Yeah, that one there. You need to get that. And you also need to get... Maybe you've already got your own network. 
Okay, okay. You on the other hand, you need that one. You need to be replenished. Where are you going? You are going to this one here. Why? Because he has technically the Voltiers that Messina needs. Right, okay. Uh, monsieur? You are going down here on a trip to Messina's army if you make it and don't get taken out by the Russians. That could be a thing. But, uh, your Voltiers, you are sneaky sneaky, so... Apparently you're meant to be sneaky sneaky. Okay. You guys are all down. What else are we going to do? Oh, that's right. <laughs> Time to finish off the Austrians. Before I do that, Mr. Agent, yeah, you, assassinate him, or at least try to. No, no, okay. Well, you're going to go there. Get out of harm's way before I do that. Right. Well, if it's already not obvious, guys, this is going to be a massive cavalry and infantry rush. Mm-hmm. Yes, it will be. So, uh, I'm going to save it and uh, hopefully end the Austrians once and for all. And our full attention will be on the uh, Russians. And of course it's in the pouring rain again. But in saying that they have given me the high ground. Mm-hmm. Right there. Voltiers, you guys are going to go right along now. Cannons, I want you to hold your fire. Till I at least get those Voltiers down there, deploy stakes, and then you can shoot the hell out of the uh, Russians. Hopefully. Alright. Fusiliers, I want you on either side there. Because if the Russians decide to do what I think they're going to do, you need to basically hold the ground, hold the line, and um, protect our artillery, which are going to be very critical in this. Um, grenadiers on either flank. Over there like that with the cavalry. And cavalry, you just go over there. General, even though you're an absolute nick and poop. Absolute moron. You go there. And try not to get yourself killed by a Russian cannonball or a musket. Actually, the Russians don't have any artillery, do they? Well, musket in your case, then. Right. It's all there. Okay. There are my Voltiers there. Voltiers, right down there. Move yourselves. Yep. Move it, move it, move it. Oh, now we're stuck. Yikes, a wow. Right, barrage 
Sinner's victory, sir, is soon to be yours. As soon as I do that and press my cannons to barrage them, you say that, monsieur. But I still don't believe you. Right. You guys. All the way down there. Grenadiers, take the top of that ridge just there. Hi. Every, you do the same over there. Right, if the Russians want me, they will have to come and get me. Unless I get fed up and I go, no, no, not picking this no more. Right, it is, go there. Given that I have artillery and they don't, by the map over on the right hand side that we can see, the Russians are coming. We got militia and their cavalry. Mm. Okay. Right. Fire at will. That's it, grenadiers. That's it. Right, cavalry, come over that side. And you're going to sweep in and mop up all those militia. Whereas over on this side, you. One square, because we have Austrian cavalry, cavalry on this side. Gonna come over on our flanks. Yeah, I see you over there. I see you over there. It is over there. Force march. Easily is. You will go there. Hurry up about it. Because the Austrians are here. Right, uh, you go there. You two fusilier units go there. Yes, boys, I know I'm actually leaving the uh, center exposed, but there is a reason for that. Right. Diamond formation, go. Austrians fall into my trap. Come on, a little bit more. Come on, you can do it. Come on, Austrians. Right, do it. Do it now. Do I get the feeling that this is the uh, Napoleonic version to Endor? You let your friends would die. And instead of the rebels being the ones who uh, win the victory, it is the Empire. The French Empire. <laughs> but in saying that, when Napoleon gets the abilities to launch rockets, he may very well become the first galactic Napoleonic Empire. 
Wouldn't that be something? I do know that I mentioned in the last episode what would have happened or what would it be like if we took Star Wars, the Napoleonic Wall, and yes, for all those Star Trek -y fans, I'll throw in Star Trek as well. What would it be like if we had um, a situation like that? I think it would be very, very cool. And most of you would say, Valorian, that's basically what 40k Warhammer is. Yeah, to a certain degree, yeah. But I know of Warhammer anyway. Which I don't know much. Don't play the games either. Um, so yeah, I can kind of understand what that's where that's coming from. Uh, Cavalry, what are you doing? Come over here and get those fleeing um, militia. All right, cannons go back to shooting round shot, not spreading the love. You get get him. Actually, the grenadiers have already got him, so you go and get him. Now we'll get back to what I was talking about in a minute after I've addressed the uh, situation with my, my troops. Why did you guys go down? Did you down? Did you go down? Holy mamma mia! Cavalry! Cavalry! We have cavalry, damn it! Running, sir. Ah, poop, this is all gone to hell, hasn't it? Here, yep, yep, it has. Right, Cav, get into the back of them, you go over there. Grenadiers, you need to move your backsides. Look at that, behind them. right flank has collapsed so. running, at least we took out the general but anyway um getting back to the subject what would it be like if we had a futuristic napoleonic war technically what i was talking about hey you scumbags eat french steel Yeah, that's right. The French Empire is not done with you yet. You may have touched my, Our men are running, sir. my left, uh, right hand side. But we still know how to kick your butt. Especially if you put your men into that formation there. A couple of cannonballs on top and voila. Yes, over there. Ooh, General, you're in danger. Over there. You guys, get them. Sir, sir, our general is under attack. Hey, what? That's because the idiot walked right in front of a firing cannon. I may have got him to go over there, but mm, you would think the AI would have more brains to walk in front of a firing cannon. You would think that, but obviously they don't. We get that. Wow. 
Well, I've got to give it to the Austrians. They fought. They fought like hell. Literally clapsed my right flank. And uh, got as far up as the uh, top of this ridge just here. For so they met my cannons and got absolutely kissed in the mush by French low, aka canister. Right. You guys, please turn around and wipe the rest of the off. Yeah, Austrians. Cavalry right. over there. Mm -hmm. Get them guys over there, please. Just go home, Austria, you're beaten. Surrender. Nope, they're not gonna surrender, sir. Oh, I was never good in peace and negotiations anyway. The men are fatigued, sir. Don't care. Rest a while. Don't care. I might not be any good in peaceful negotiations, but I am good in aggressive negotiations. <laughs> Why do I sound like Puppetine every time I say that? Because the dark side gives some the abilities others consider to be unnatural. Especially if... <laughs> I just saw that, especially if I'm able to lob house the shells at that 4th Regiment of Foot German Fusiliers from way over... Way over there. Yeah, so on the map there to where that uh, red square is on the right hand side. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's insane range, and I absolutely love it. Absolutely love it. If you can't tell, guys, I'm really enjoying this campaign. And, uh... Well, the Austrians are now dead. Yep. So we lost 2,423. We have a remaining army or standing army of 1,977. We wiped out the uh, Austrian garrison. And we now want to occupy that. Yes, we do. But that will also mean that the Austrians are now dead. Very much the same as what the, um, the British or the United Kingdom and Prussia. There are no more Austrians. No more Austrians. Alright. You need to be um, resupplied. And you need a, another Fusilier of the line. Your army. Hmm, okay. Will you just stay there in Transylvania? I will get all these upgraded. You, however, monsieur. Hmm, got my stomach. Mm, that hurt. 
Owl. Um, yeah, so that's all there. It's, oh, yeah. Um, you. Was it you? Yeah, it was you. Who's there? Just stay there. Yeah, just stay there. Right, Bernadotte. You're there. The Austrians are all um, Austrians. We just killed the Austrians. The Russians. The Russians are all there. Where is your artillery, Bernadotte? Right back here. Oh, man. Go that way. That's the one thing about having um, all your high tier troops way back here. Now, where am I? They... Well, they did get to Bristol's, I guess. So the, uh, the old guards are definitely moving. They are definitely moving, that's, that's for sure. You gotta go to there. You gotta go to Kessels or south of Kessels and then you'll be Dresden and there. Then you'll be over at uh, Dan Zig. And then you'll go to Napoleon. Okay, okay. That's that's a fifty fifty trip, I can tell you that. You, however, are going up to in Petersburg, find out what's going on up there. Right, and uh, I actually needed one of you guys to come over that way. We're going to kick these Russians out of there. Then we're going to absolutely slaughter them with these guys here. Yes, we are. Right. And turn. What is Russia doing with an army there? They've always had it there for the They've always had it there. Okay, another spy. Why did he have to be all the way over there? You can go to Amsterdam. Keep an eye on them over there. Just in case if they get any uh, any ideas. What I do want to do, go around, get yeah, you upgrade. Oh, there's some over there. One and no. Get you there. Okay, infrastructure. Mm -hmm. Pretty sure that I've actually got most of them. Anybody would think that this was the um, Industrial Revolution. No, it's still the Napoleonic War. Just making sure that my economy is uh, all up and running. Yeah, you're there to keep an eye on the Spaniards, that's right. You're there to help him out. 
Mm -hmm. Now I am thinking of actually turning this army down in Marseille into another army. Which can I get? Yes, I can actually get two. I can get two. <laughs> I just had an idea, guys, and I don't know if it's a harebrained idea or a moment of absolute genius. But I'm thinking of building two armies in Marseille, getting them all out, and marching on Sicily with them. Not just one army this time. We all know what happened in Sicily. Yeah, we all know what happened in Sicily. But marching two armies over there at the exact same time, at the exact same position, and taking over Sicily. I mean, I got the money to do it. I can have a little fun. I'm allowed to have fun. I think. I think. As long as the, uh, campaign doesn't go down the toilet which I don't think it would guys I mean have a look at the French Empire and the map down here it's almost painted in French Imperial blue mm-hmm right okay um, so that's Russian army is there so you need to go there Where were you going? Oh, this is the one for Messina. Yeah, you're gonna go over there. And you technically need to go on that bridge over there. Yep. You could actually take that out. You could. But the question is, should? No, we don't talk about Sicily, um, guy, do we? No, we don't talk about Sicily. As well as that, um, if you haven't, if you guys haven't seen what happened in Sicily, it's in, um, episode four and five. Four and five of this campaign. I won't tell you what happened, but um, Sicily was an absolute um, disaster. Let's just say that an absolute disaster. As well as that, uh, this guy. How you doing, mate? And thank you for uh, for joining me. I uh, did see your um, Benelord. Um, first game play um, the other day you, you, you did pretty good you did pretty good I've never done multiplayer campaign on Bannerlord I, I want to try it out it looks really really fun but um, the one scene that uh, basically does it in for me is the fact that um, I live in Australia and um, most of the servers and all that are asleep when I'm awake. So it's not much fun sitting here playing by yourself. Or you're basically waiting for the, um, the servers to be more active. That can be actually said in Insight? There you go. Right, so just going around. Yeah, you need the replay. Oh, you got hit pretty hard. I didn't even see that one. Okay, okay. But as I'm zooming around the map, I can definitely see where I, I um, kicked the uh, enemy in the butt. Yeah, there's a look. Half a dozen swords there. There's half a dozen swords there. At least three of them in that area just there. And about 
like a 50 mile radius. Just there, there's three of them, all in there. Yeah. And there's a few more there and there. There's going to be a lot more against the Russians, I can tell you that. Another one there. Yeah, another one there. There should have been a couple... Oh yeah, there's one there. There should have been a couple... <laughs> there definitely should have been a couple more around Istanbul, that's for sure. But there's not. Which is a bit of a boomer. Right, no, uh, yeah, you'll actually be fully replenished in the next turn, my sinner. That's convenient. You go there. Yes, you can. Um. I actually want... Yeah, get you. The garrison force in um, Istanbul. Right, you better there. And um, hopefully, in the next turn, we can start using Messina to push back the Russians. And the Russians had a chance to kill him, they just didn't do it. And I want that one again. Actually, no I don't. I want that one for, um, sort of plus four happiness. Because I want to definitely keep Istanbul happy. Don't want them rebelling against me. No, I do not. Right, um... To the north. Right, who do we have here? That's Napoleon. You, you, you were going over here, that's right. Over there. I want that naval battle. Which is right there. Well, give me my naval battle. Waste the main colors, roll out the guns, and prepare for Operation Kick-Ass. Which, I mean, come on. I'm gonna kick butt. I'm gonna really, really kick butt. Alright, my elite heavy hitters are right there. I'm gonna go... Yeah, that way. You two. You guys are gonna come. Hmm. You want me to go the opposite way, don't you? I mean, I don't want that. I want to take the weather gauge. Eh. They're just puny little ships anyway, so... Uh, let's go. You guys just technically stay here. The Emerald's got this. And where are they? They are over here. Okay. Go that way. I'm going to speed up. Do we get some actual? Well, as that, heard of guns. Don't fire until I give you the word. As well as that, guys, make sure you got the clip uh, button ready. Uh, this is your opportunity to get some clips. This is your opportunity to do so. Hey, hey, hey! That's not nice! 
not nerf. Go down, straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. Then we're going to uh, blast that one to Kingdom Come and that one and that one. This will lead that one there. The sloop goes kaboomy. Russia, that's not nice. I mean, I know I've got bigger, bigger ships, bigger boom boom guns than you, but that's still not nice. They don't care. You know, you're gonna care in a minute. You're gonna care in a minute, I can tell you that, Russia. Tsar Alexander the First of Russia didn't tell you about my navies, did he? No, no, he did not. Well, maybe he should have. The fact that I've beaten Nelson, Wellington, and forced the British to kiss the boot of Napoleon Bonaparte, Emperor of France, I should have told you about my navy. Alright guys, get your cameras ready! Alright, I almost feel sorry for this poor sloop. Surrender, Russian scum! No? Okay, well, courtesy of the Emperor of France, Viva la France! Fire. Oh. That's disgusting. It's disgusting, but I like it. I like it a lot. Oh, right up your bum. Right up your stern. Okay, guys, so if you missed the, uh, Missed the first one. Second one's coming. Russians, you have the second opportunity to surrender your ship. What's that? You told us to get lost. Oh, I gave them the opportunity, I guess. Guess. Well, um... I'm here to uh, pass on the Emperor's condolences by means of a giant cannonball. Actually, before I do that, I gotta uh, get this bathtub in the right position. So, uh, I gotta do that first. Rush it! Not nice! Sir, our admiral is in mortal danger! Hey, hey, hey! Don't shoot me at the butt! Well, then again, I just... I just did that to you, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. Alright. Swing that bathtub around. Bring it around. Okay, guys. All right. Well, here goes nothing. Get your cameras ready. Viva la France! Oh, yeah. Oh. Master and Commander, eat your heart out, Russell Crowe. Eat your heart out, Jack Aubrey. <laughs> Alright, the guns on that side, and so do you. Actually, no. We're definitely going to go right up behind this flagship right here, and make ourselves welcome. Ooh. Yeah, you had the opportunity to render, Russia, but you didn't. 
I'm not surprised that this guy is still alive and kicking after that giant beating we gave him before. Go for animation, go over there. Alright. And this is your third opportunity, guys, to get some uh, screenshots and clips and all that other good stuff. As soon as I get this off tub and moving. Right, flagship versus flagship. <laughs> Viva la France! Ooh, didn't really get any any good shots out of that one. I apologize, guys. Sorry, that was a misfire. Bob, I told you to put the match down. You didn't listen, did you? So I didn't. I got a little trigger happy. Yeah, we'll just blame that on Bob, won't we? Yes, we will. But we will blow this small entire ship to hell. Yeah, we will. Alright, guys. Fourth opportunity. Viva la France! Oh, that's better. Oh! Yeah, we just, uh... We just slaughtered his ship. Oh, that poor defenseless sloop. What am I talking about? It's, it's a Russian ship. I'm not sorry. But he did surrender. And he's on fire. Ooh, 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 that, that's not nice, that, no, that's not good. You guys can boo me right next to my ship. Oh, that's disgusting. Why is all the, uh, all the good clips and everything... Why does it always happen when I'm not looking? I don't know. Well, it's not like we're going to lose this battle. But uh, it's been fun. These small little engagements, they are fun. Oh, take that, Russia. Take that. You actually need to, uh... Well, straight down the middle of them. Straight down the middle. Please, let me... Let me just... Get one good... Good... Good clip, please, Russia. That's all I want. Then I'll commandeer your ships. Add them to my navy. I think that's a pretty cool deal. No, Russia apparently doesn't think that's a good deal. Okay. Oh, yep, the sloop went kaboomy, and I missed it. You guys probably heard it, but I missed it. Oh, farewell, little Russian sloop. Ah. Come on, you big giant behemoth. Move yourself. We're trying our best, sir. We even have our own handkerchiefs and pocket napkins and all the rest of it. We're going as fast as we can. Not fast enough. The Russians are basically caught in the wind, so that's all right. And as I turn this tugboat around, we're gonna come on. Come on, turn that tugboat around. Come on. Oh yeah. Now I've got to time this perfectly. Alright. 
Yep. Fire! <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Very happy boy right now. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. Oh, that was disgusting. I hit the quick button, but mobile sucks for making clips. Ah, you need an upgrade. You need to go to an iPhone. Nah, it's all good, um... All good guy. I'll probably clip these later myself, actually. So, uh... They're good. Alright. Fire! Ooh, did I hit the front of that ship? Yes, I did. Will I pay for that later? Possibly. Alright, swing them around. Yes, I gotta go through the wind. I know, I know, I know. Now, you're surrendered. It's just the flagship now. This little one go over here. Come on, load up those guns. That's it. Right. Get around, get around, get around, get around, get around. Ooh, that was a broadside. On this monster just over here. That's alright. In a minute, he's gonna get the biggest headache he's ever had in his life. Fire. Well, that didn't work. Alright, swing it around. He's probably, probably waiting for a... No, he's actually uh, fired a little earlier. That's all right. This Russian Emerald, or Capitan, he's gonna fight to the death. What is it with the AI today? The AI are basically just, nope, we don't care what the French want us to do, we're totally disregarding what the French do, negotiation table is closed, we're gonna give them hell, and we're gonna fight like hell. Which I really, really like. I like the AI basically going, no, 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 we're not gonna sit here, play dead, play stupid, and roll over and tell you to walk all over us. We, we don't like that. I like the AI fighting back. Use the same tactics I'm using on them and all that stuff. Make a real game out of it. That's what I like. Like that. I like the AI fighting back. That's what you expect in these games. It doesn't matter what Total War genre you you pick. Fantasy ones, so Warhammer 40k, whatever, or the uh, historical ones, or even the older ones, like um, the first um, Shogun or Medieval 2, whatever the case is, you want the AI to fight back. It's called Total War for a reason. It's not a walk in the park Total War. No, I don't think anybody would play that. So you want the AI to basically fight back. And use the tactic that you use on them. So, yeah. Right. Well, uh, you guys need to all be replenished. Thank you very much. Replenish all of them, please, and thank you. Right. Meanwhile, is it nay? Yet nay. You are going the borderlands of this one here 
and St. Petersburg over there. Yeah, you're happy with me? Oh, okay. Okay, well, to make sure that you are definitely happy with me, you get one of those guys over there. The garrison fort. Hmm. I don't like what you're doing over there, um, Russia. Don't like that at all. Well, I do have Bernadotte just there in case you you think you can attack me. Um, that is your cannon. So come on, watch, watch. Move it, move it. Napoleon can't technically move because he's waiting for his old guards to get here. But once his old guards are here, they will definitely be moving. Right, you guys, that's what I was doing. Here they please. Okay, Russia, what do you got? So technically it's another um, infantry cavalry rush. Technically what it is. We're going to fight this one. Let's go. So just giving you guys a heads up. If you guys want to clip any part of these live uh, streams or whatever the case is, be my guest. Be my guest. Don't even ask. Just go and clip them and um, post them up on the um, Discord or over there on the, um, the CTW or yeah. And um, funny moments, embarrassing moments, whatever the case is, guys. I I don't particularly care. Just makes it. Uh, Makes it more enjoyable. And, uh, I remember the cannons. There you go, guys. That's a, uh, that's a clip for you. Lorian un doesn't unlimber his cannons. And then he wonders, why aren't his guns firing? Yeah. Yeah. That just happened. Right. OTRs, you go there. Hang on, hold up. Really not my day today, is it? Nope. No, it's not. Right, um... We are going to stick you over there. Yep. I'm gonna stick the grenadiers out the front. Come on. You had more grenades than that. Right, that's what I wanted. And mm. yeah, you guys go there. Let's go there. You and you. Mm. Yeah, over here. There you go. Play around on the right, coming behind them. If the opportunity presents itself. Let's go. Yes. Boy stakes. Uh, cannons. Oh, you're fine. You're, you're totally fine. I didn't even have to tell you to barrage them. You guys need to come 
leg is out. Of course, your, your little legs depends on it, which technically they kind of do. You go into square formation, please and thank you. Hmm. You guys just stay there. Actually, every you're gonna come over here. Over on this side. We got Corsacs. Of course we got. Thinking Corsacs. We hate Corsacs. Goes along with the generalized scene, guys, that I don't like cavalry. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't like cavalry at all. Give me um, infantry. Give me artillery. Give me the damn old guards, for goodness sakes. Give me them. Don't give me cavalry. I will murder them all. Which is exactly what I do in my armies. So, uh, if you want quick ranking up through the ranks, join the cavalry. Because I get all my uh, all my cavalry officers killed. We go from a measly lieutenant to a brigadier general overnight, instantly. I promise you that. It's a science sealed guarantee. Measly Lieutenant one week, Brigadier General the next. Join the uh, Valorian Cavalry Regiment today. Enlistments are free. It doesn't doesn't guarantee that you'll ever see your family again. Oops. Ooh, the Russians are striking Buxa. Yeah, they are. Eh. No, no. That's why I uh, why I left these guys there because I knew they were gonna do that. How did you know that, sir? Because that's the uh, Russian speciality. Get around there, cavalry, get stuck in, I don't care where you are, if you're on the other side of the map, get over here. Holy mamma mia guys, the Russians are not playing nice. They like you sunk our ships, I know you sunk our ships. We are going to make your Hey, for sinking out rubber duckies. Yeah, I did. I did. With big giant boom boom gun chips, okay? What are you gonna do about it? And I can't use my cannons to fire grape shot in there there either. Right. Grenadiers, do what the grenadiers do best. What would that be, Valorian? Silly. Of course. Chop a suey then. Turn them all into itsy bitsy fish food. Yeah, the Russians are not playing nice for this battle. Right, here's the ears. Go over there in the forest. Battle stay escape. You see anyone with a f Russian insignia? Kill them. Our men are running, sir. Yeah, that would be my Voltiers. My poor Voltiers. You guys. Kill them because they're killing the uh, artillery. Hmm. 
Out that general, you guys keep pushing forward. This battle has definitely been the, uh, the Russian counter strike. Must have heard about me destroying their uh Kill their general, sir. Now they must break. Did we do it honorably or dishonorably? Not that I actually care. Did we slice and dice him or shoot him off his horse with the cannonball? Probably the latter. They shot him off his horse with cannonball. Every, come around there, get them. Nope. Nope. Well, the Russians may have, uh, lost the counter-attack. We crushed them. Speed up. Guys, just surrender. Armies are finished. Yeah, you surrender now. Goodbye. Right, victory. Thank you very much. Right, wiped out the Russians. We lost 2,046 Frenchmen. So, uh, if anyone is a mathematician who have just joined, what is the total amount of Frenchmen killed in this whole entire campaign? Mm -hmm. I think the last tally that I did, which would have been episode 16, or possibly, I think it's about 105,000, I think. I think. Yeah, but I definitely know it's a hell of a lot more for the enemy. Yeah, yeah, that's for sure. Ooh, hello, Russia. What are you good over here? You got border patrols. Huh. Okay, border patrols. Mm, yeah, you gone there, haven't you? Okay. You need to go. Well, and have I ordered you? Yes, I have. Okay, it's three turns. Mm -hmm. right. And you're staying there. I actually want you more on that bridge. There you go. Right. In turn, let's see what Russia has in store for us. Just gone there outside of Dresden. Okay. Ready? Definitely want this navy fully fully replenish. Replenish it, please, and thank you. Right, you are gonna get your artillery in the next turn. Going to get that one now. Upgrade that. Mm. 
No, you're gonna go there. Yep, and is he? I can't get it. No, there he is. You're gonna go and do down. Wow. St. Petersburg is defenseless. So is, um, Dolgo, um, yeah, this one here. Hmm. Maybe we'll take St. Petersburg in this one, go bang, bang. Maybe. Maybe the Russians are basically using the same tactics as they used in history. Allow the French to get as far as Moscow. Make sure the French are all comfy. And then burn the city to the ground, forcing Napoleon to retreat. Hmm. Maybe. Hey, um... Where are we down here? There he is. Marcini, my main man. Yeah, I know you've been uh, cooped up in uh, Istanbul for a while, haven't you, my man? Yeah, you have. But that's okay. You're going to kick a Russian butt now. Where did that army go? The army's around here somewhere. Right. You're going to go down. But she's going to allow Matsina to get his revenge on the Russians. The go there, Russians. Uh, Matsina. Beat up the Russians. Now this is more of a fight, and at least they got a cannon, so they got that one there. Yep. Alright, Matsina, it's your opportunity to unleash hell. That's exactly what he's gonna do. Oh, goody. Oh, goody, goody, goody. Well, guess what I got? I got the high ground again. Uh, uh. Yes, I do. Alright, and I've only got one Voltaire, don't I? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. You're gonna go there. And sadly, I need... You guys to be off fire at will. And my Voltier get down there, deploy his stakes, and then he, you can just unleash help. Now, Sinian guards, you're gonna take up the left flank just there. And. Easily is, you're gonna take up the position there. Young guards. Good. Uh, no. There. That's what I want. You're gonna take up over there. And then... Yeah. Yeah. I've got my recovery, don't I? Mm-hmm. You guys go over there. In the Grenadiers. Which I almost forgot about. Uh, no, actually go that way. Hmm. Right, the center. You're going to go out in the forest. And you guys. On and out. Go there. Right. Yep, you're unlimited, you're unlimited. Okay, let's go. Watch you down. Down in that valley, just there. Right. Alistair is already firing at him. 
Ah, ja. A glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I don't believe you, Monsieur. I don't believe you. Then again, maybe I do if my Kenneth can do that. If my Kenneth can do that, then yeah, this is in the bag. Right, Lucinian guards form up. I'll advance. You guys go there. Every. Over there. This is my sinner's revenge. Basically, my sinner strikes back. Get the Empire strikes back. This is my sinner's battle. My sinner strikes back. Come on, Russians, what do you got? You've got nothing. Just moving your armies around like a bunch of lunatics. Hoping that my cannons don't hit you. Which right now they are. Oh, the sound of the cannons. Oh, it's been a while, my sinner. It has been a while. Boop dump in Istanbul. Mm. It has not dealt your ability to kick ass, that's for sure. Right. Sinian guards. Advance. Uh, it looks like the uh, Russians want to face you. And not the uh, young guards. Forming up on their right hand side. <laughs> hey, Russia. Yeah? What? Uh, just a word of advice. Yeah, what's that? Have a look on your right hand side, your left. Your left, my right. Why is that? There's four lots of young guards right there. They obviously haven't discovered yet. Right. I'm cisternaries, I'm peasants and militia. Well, you know what that means, don't you? Every attack. Chop a suey then. Operation Slicey Dice. Right. Young guards, advance. Arm ranks and fire at will. And as we see my um, cavalry in the distance charging their lines, the Russians are like, ah, oh, hell no. My sinner is back! My sinner is here! I thought we killed him in Istanbul! No, you did not. You've failed to do so. Now that he's fully replenished, and he is able to uh, leave Istanbul, he's going to kick you where it hurts. Gonna kick your torch. Hello, cavalry. How are we doing over here? Can you just go over there, please? Stay out of harm's way, and then you can all go home, and I won't kill you all. But what's that about the Russians? Um. This regarding the uh, young guards. I don't think they have disregarded them now. That's fine, that gives me opportunity for the uh, Matinian guards to advance along with the uh, 
and it is. Actually, that was the grenadiers there. Whoops. Sorry, Messina guys, you ain't going anyways. Did you already shoot in the Russians? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Right, you guys go back into there. You are that far left flank for me. Cavalry that is. Yeah, I don't always hate cavalry. I just don't like it when they disobey my orders. Oh, oh. Come up over there. Whoop. Come on. Come on. Oh, you just vaporized all this in here. Go, young guards, go. That's what you expect from the young guards. When it is, you've got uh, Russians over there. Great, chop a suey them. We've basically just totally annihilated that whole entire Russian column. Totally annihilated it. Well, as I'd like to uh, better describe it, we totally liquefied it. We basically did. Now Messina is ordering his cannons. Fire on that position just then. The Moscow Musketeers, first regiment. Yep. This battle is definitely my sinner's revenge. Sinner is not happy anymore. I mean, neither would I be cooped up in a little little garrison, hoping that uh, reinforcements arrive, which they did. They did. And then uh, two lots of uh, Russian detachment, by like order of the Tsar himself, his orders of taking your head off. They show up, and you got to fight them. So, uh, no wonder my sin is in a bad mood. He doesn't like the Russians very much. No, no, he doesn't. I wonder why. But between they. And Bernadotte, Asina is one of the first marshals out of this, um, out of the start of this campaign. And many of you who have just joined may be wondering why do I call my cinema man man? Well, um, for that reason, he's basically one of the one of the uh, marshals that I do most of my fighting with. And he's damn well good at it too. Definitely knows how to kick a butt. Wonder if they ever did a remaster and brought Napoleon into the, um, with all the modern graphics and everything, UI, stuff like that. I want to see them basically give us the ability, similar to what they do in um, 3K, with our generals and giving them special abilities and things like that, making them unique new units. Not the, um, the hybrid super units and all that type of stuff. No, still give us a Napoleon feel with our generals and having their, their uh, staff officers and stuff like that. Keep that. But give us the ability to um, to hone their particular skills that, that the player wants 
their generals to um, go after. So if they want their generals to be an absolute monster on the battlefield, then we have the ability to do that. If we want them to be more cunning strategic, then we have the ability to do that. If we want them to be um, more of an ambush, wait for the opportune moment and then strike up and uh, general or general or marshal, whatever the case is, we have the ability to do that. So give us give us that ability. If they ever did um, a remaster of uh, Napoleon Total War, as well as Rome, Rome Total War as well. If they ever go and remaster that. Which they probably have. They have gone remastered it, but yeah. Just putting my two cents in and uh, all that type of stuff. And no, guys, I am not a modder or a uh, a um, programmer, whatever you like to call it. What those guys that create game developer, that's the word I'm looking for. I just offer suggestions and uh, play the games that they create to the best of my ability. Just want them to not let artillery fire, units fire on themselves. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, it's also a thing. As well as that, it's a little, um, a little far-fetched when the artillery have unlimited ammunition which yeah I kind of get why they don't have um, well they have um, ammunition unlimited ammunition because technically the um, infantry they have limited ammo so I can kind of see where they're coming from from that point of view but if you want to make it more realistic put a um, an ammunition count on the um, artillery and um, as for the as for the um, artillery units firing on themselves well if you stick your your troops in the road stick your troops Apologies for that. Um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah, expect your troops to um, basically get canistered or fired upon. So um, I do understand what you're saying, um, saying guy about the artillery, but it's not technically the uh, artillery's fault if you got units in the road. I mean, they're only doing their job, they're shooting the enemy, and if your troops get caught in the road, expect your troop to get fired on. Just like these guys that are about to get some grenadier muskets. Either that, or they're going to get absolutely stomped on by my artillery. I mean, when the units turn... Oh, right, and hit the other cannons. Yep, yeah. That makes more sense now, yeah. Yeah, so basically what the guy is um, mentioning is see how I've got all my cannons here and they're firing down on that unit just there. When they swivel their guns and they're all on the line, he doesn't want them want the right to be able to fire and kill what's on the left because it doesn't make sense but um, again I I raised the question if you stick cannons or men in their firing arc expect them to be killed but maybe I'm just rambling I don't know I don't know right where are the oh Cavalry, shoot them over there, please. Shoot them over there, and I'll give you the uh, support of the young guards. 
Come on, boys. Let's go. Yep. You've been cooped up in Istanbul long enough, boys. You need some exercise, so move it. No, the Russians are like, ah, Emma. Uh-uh. No, we know who your uh, commanding officer is. We know Messina is in command. We are out of here. Good. Get out of here. Go. Rack off. Because Messina is out of Russian blood. Right. And that was such a butt kicking from Messina that we only lost 277 troops. 277 Frenchmen were killed or wounded. And we wiped off the face of the earth 5,188 Russians. Marcina, you are a definite badass. And that's why I like him. I like him. I like him a lot. Right. The plot door, please, because we're painting this map in Imperial. Um, French. I was going to say Prussian. No, no. Was for some reason I was. And have to kill them. Whoa! I did not expect you guys to sit there and uh, actually put up a fight. I mean, this is is an order resolve, no matter what, guys. But. This infantry division wants to fight 3,943 French, this whole entire army, 400 against that. Look about 300 Spartans, guys, I mean, yeah. What was that about the AI basically telling me, no, you are not going to walk all over us, we're going to fight. <laughs> 5,000? I've not seen those numbers yet, but then again, I haven't fought the Russians yet. No, you haven't. No, you haven't. And um, here's a massive tip. Get your artillery ranked up. Because the one thing that the Russians have is those six dreaded excuse for a unicorns who can basically fire from the other end of the map. They are nasty little pieces of artillery and the Russians own them. Which is why I'm after the um after the um we lost what? We lost 5,023 and they lost, well, they basically all died. But they killed 123 more than they did. So they basically killed 1.5, for every single man in that division, the Russians, they killed 1.5 of my troops. Yikes. Yeah. Okay, but anyway, as I was saying, the unicorns, savage little artillery pieces. They really are. And um, they will basically fire on your rank, on your starting position, from word go. So they'll be able to shoot you while you're still trying to get your men into um, formations and all that, that stuff. I really want to find out where the hell that Russian army is down here. I don't know where it is. But, uh, we're going to upgrade all you guys and you. We're going to come over here. And... Yeah, you guys are all recruiting, um, recruiting aren't you? Hmm? Yep. Um, Okay. Yep, I want you guys. Okay. 
net for Istanbul's garrison. Okay. What are you doing a flame over there? And you? What are you doing a flame over there? Oh, because of this one. Okay. Okay. What is, um... Well, you got all them in there. You seem to be happy, Athens. Unlike in my Roman campaign, they're not happy at all. No, they're not. But for different reasons, because I'm playing as, uh... As the Romans. And Athens don't like Romans. And Romans don't like Athens. Yeah. Yeah. Right, um... You're all there. What have we got in here? We got a grand arsenal. Yes, I want that. I want the ability to get ships up in this area if I need to. You need to go over there. Right, uh, lanes, you are still replenishing that. No, you're just there. Mm -hmm. In turn, find out what the Russians do and if they're the ability to counter attack. Which they probably don't, but you never know. One Russia, what do you got? They got that. That is the army I was looking for. It's an actual decent size um, Russian army as well. What are these guys? Six pound horse artillery, okay. Six pound foot artillery. Hmm. I thought this one was the um, the unicorn. And you guys really would have seen a battle then. But it's not, it's uh, horse artillery. They got four excuse uh, three three lots of uh or sacks. Okay, and it's losing the um, garrison force because my army is not in range. Okay. Oh it's the um defense of the Balkans. The Russians are definitely wanting the, the Balkans. Yeah, must be a great holiday spot. Okay. Let's go. Prepare the garrisons. And the muskets and the ammunition and let's go. Or in the words of Optimus Prime, roll out. Okay, um... Settlement is way over here. I'm gonna fall back. I gotta really, really fall back, don't I? Yeah, I do. You guys, what the heck are you guys? Ooh, Swift Jaegers. Oh, yeah. Oh, you guys look fancy. Let me look at your uniform. Oh, you guys look fancy as all hell. Wow. Maybe this is another campaign that I start. Getting ideas for campaigns, guys. Like, um... Yeah. Maybe it'll do a swift campaign. Maybe. Maybe, but these guys... These... Yeah, red and green. Oh, hell, guys. I like you. I like you a lot. Very I'm fine. Yeah. Alright, um, getting back to the situation. 
Yeah, hang on. Wait a minute. Uh, you guys. You guys here. Go down. Yeah. Not really. You guys. You can't. That's right. Because the edge of the map is just there. <laughs> you guys go down. Well, you guys. Just there. So the plan is, guys, that these guys can go into there, into that armory, and one of my fusiliers will go into that one over there, and then I'll deploy fusiliers along there. Yeah. Do I see myself winning this battle? No. I'm gonna send as many Russians back to hell as we possibly can. Uh, the objective of this and then we'll uh, come along with my army and rush the rest of them start battle you guys get into there you guys over there we have taken the building sir yes because I told you to do so over there Ford march At least I've got uh, fusiliers and not actual garrison militia units. These guys are proper um, fusiliers of the line. Which technically doesn't make any difference when you're facing a Russian army. This one. Well, it kind of does because they're not militia. They're not low tier. But, um, this guy, if you're still in chat, this is what the Russians have. We have taken the building, sir. This is what you're expecting in your campaign. You face the, uh, the might of the Russian bears. That's basically what the, um, the code name for this operation against the Russians. Operation Teddy Bear Picnic. Hmm? I just code name everything, don't I, guys? And I'm just noticing that um, detachment of um, Corsacs coming up on our left hand side. Off. Oh, yeah, fire, fire on that idiot, fire on him, kill their general, you idiot, then again, we shoot you, then it's a morale hit to your troops, so, uh, fire at will, fire at will, and if you're going to stand there, then just, just laser tag him. Just, just, just do it. Stupid Russian general. Oh yeah, I've always used the biggest unit settings. Oh yeah, it's uh, there's no puny unit sizes for here. No, there's not. Essentially, I'm going to. Move you guys over there. And you guys go over there. Now, I've always used the um, the biggest unit size, the ultra. Ultra unit sizes, I think it is, in the settings. Always done it. Ever since um, Napoleon came out back in 2010. But this game is 13 years old. 13 years old, guys. It's a teenager. And, uh, some days it 
that's what one too, but we won't go there. I just used the medium setting because that's what I got used to before I realised you could make them bigger. It's a lot of fun with bigger unit sizes. Um, I, it is a massive amount of fun. And it makes the battles that much cooler. That's my personal opinion anyway. So you see these massive columns of men just marching across the battlefield. Instead of these little blobs of men just going dip, 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 dip. I'm saying, you, you, you see this? You see that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure the Russians have learnt that off Napoleon. He would be very impressed with those those columns. He wouldn't be impressed that the Russians are doing it, but, um, you know. Give them hell, boys. Give them hell. Ooh, here come the Cossacks. Come on, Swiss Jaegers. Our general is under attack. Uh, he's not a general, but he could become one if he survives this battle. He is a uh, lieutenant or a monk capitan. What I've got to keep my eye on, really, is that over there. Actually, both of them. The other one is over there. Oh, great. i got no cavalry to do it. I wish I could, but... I got used to something and it's hard for me to change. <laughs> oh, I'll convince you. I'll convince you, uh, guy, that's for sure. I will definitely... I mean, I've already got Burrito brainwashed in working for me, so, you know. You know. No. It's, uh, it's a personal choice. I just find it more... Um, more engaging and cooler and realistic with the ultra settings and the bigger unit sizes so you know as well as that this campaign does have a mod attached to it and since I discovered the mod I would never play Napoleon without it again what's the mod Valorian? you haven't told us what the mod Darth mod guys it basically does the, uh, the smoke, the fire, the cannon, the muskets, um, even the naval battles, how all the smoke and mist and all that, just makes it more realistic. So um, that's also part of this uh, campaign, Dark Mod. And you can find it on um, MD or MB Mods. It, just type in um, Dark Mod and you guys will be able to uh, find it. We've not tried it yet. Once again, I use, I get used to something and blah blah. Yeah, yeah. But I'm telling you now, um, guy. I basically fell in love with um, Darth Mod. I wasn't overly impressed with it the first time that I tried it. I thought, what's the difference? And um, I basically tried one of their naval battles. Or tried out a naval battle with it on and no I didn't stream my reaction or anything like that and um, I thought what the hell why did I not try this before and I've never played Napoleon without it since so it's a great mod and yes it might be an older style mod but um, I like it I like it, and that's my go-to mod for uh, playing Napoleon. I really like it, just about everyone I see play Empire Napoleon use it. Yeah, yeah, they do. They do, and there's apparently another one out there, another mod, but it's very unstable. And um, basically crashes your game. I can't remember what it is. Um, LME2 or something like that, something like that, and it allows you to play different dates, different maps and all that. I've never tried it, I have heard of it, I've never tried it, and um, yeah, I just, 
I just I'm a die-hard fan of um, Dark Mod, but basically it dies, and my lines have just been overrun. So we all know what that means. Defeat. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So the Russians, the enemy, have lost two thousand three hundred and fifty-six. They have a standing army of 3,048 and they basically killed 1,867 and we only have 453 left but these guys the Swiss Jaegers I definitely want a bunch of them because they look pretty fancy Ooh, where did that Russian army go? Where the hell did that Russian army go? I gotta check this. Where's the Balkans? Where's the Balkans over here? There it is. Now I got you now. <laughs> Kill him. Right. Hello, Russians. Oh, you don't have your general. I wonder why. Because the idiot walked right in front of my fusilier and got shot. Good for him. But now, it's round two. Bye. Right. And I'm just looking over at the clock, guys. We will need to wrap up this episode after this battle. Right. Oh, I'm going up here. Yep, I'm going over here. Up on the high ground, boys. We're doing Obi-Wan tactics. What's that? I don't like Obi-Wan. I like Anakin Skywalker more. Well, uh, yeah, yeah, he does become Darth Vader, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, I mean, you can't, you can't get past the, uh, a man and, and leather. Why did you go there, Valorian? I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Darth Vader fan. And Star Wars, and all that other good stuff. And if you guys actually looked over my shoulder and uh, to my immediate left um, and all that stuff, you will definitely know that um, I am a massive Star Wars. technically always have since I was little and since I really got sick when I was little and the in and out of hospital and all the rest of it Darth Vader was my uh, was my, uh, my younger year well you could say my younger year crush I wanted to become Darth Vader. With all the medical bits and pieces. Basically a walking talking excuse for a medical experiment gone wrong. And the amount of uh, medication they tried turned me into a lab rat. That's why I got all the bits and pieces wrong with my stomach. I mean my stomach was failing. Ever since I was, uh, ever since I was born, really. It's taken this long to suddenly let me know about it. Anyway, different subject. We're gonna kick some Russians. 
And we're gonna enjoy doing so. Stop battle. Alright, well. Glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. I very well hope so, Monsieur. I very well hope so. Look at that. Ooh. Hey, 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 hey. Russia, that's not nice. I'm allowed to fire at you, but you can't fire back. Okay, that's the plan. That's the deal. Don't think it works like that, Valorian. No, probably not. Probably not. But, at least I asked them nicely. I don't think the Russians are very happy today, sir. Why do you say that? They're shooting cannonballs at us. Mm-hmm. Well, we did think they're a uh, pitiful excuse for rubber duckies, didn't we? Yes, we did, sir. And we did, um... We did unleash the fury of Masina upon them, didn't we? Yes, we did, sir. Well, yeah. Right. You guys, I don't actually know what they're doing here. I think they've got their criminalized forces over there, as well as all of these guys over here. Oh, we just took out their general. He only went dark because he got his babysitter. You did have to go there, didn't you, uh, guy? You did have to go there. Hmm. 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 Oh. What can I say? Padme just likes younger men. And, um, Princess Leia just followed in her footsteps when she died and, uh, I'm solo and they, they created a uh, drama queen with daddy issues, aka Solo oh, Ren. And yes, I know I'm going to be absolutely hate mail messages and comments about what I just said. They don't care. Everyone is free to voice their opinion, including yours, really. And as well as that, we all know from the Godfather himself, George Lucas, the creator of Star Wars, has basically posted that the last three movies are not canon or anything related to Star Wars, and even the actors themselves don't like the movies. They don't. No, they don't. So, uh, Adam Driver and all those guys who are the characters of uh, Ray and all that, they don't even like their own movies. Nope, they don't. They don't. And I don't like the Russians coming out of that forest and shooting my grenadiers. What the hell is that? Uh, Russians, Russians, just a word of advice. Your artillery? Getting chopped to pieces by my uh, cavalry, so uh, you know that happened. Chop those Cossacks in the sushi. My men is hungry for uh, horsey steaks, especially if you think and shoot my men like that. Yeah, the Russians are like, nope, nope. Sick and tired of the French kicking us, we're going to kick back. That's fine. That's fine, Russia. You can kick back. You can be a bunch of asses. Uh -huh. Yep, you can be a bunch of donkeys. You can kick back. I'll let you a certain, de certain degree of time, and then I'm going to fire at you. 
just like I did there. And there. And there too. <laughs> Meanwhile, these Russians have all gone home. They're like, nope. Nope. Playtime is over. Of course it is. Very soon, the, uh, the French will march on Moscow and uh, possibly burn it to the ground themselves. Then it's a matter of um, dealing with the the um, the Spaniards. Did you think then? Who was I actually up against then? Spain. That's gonna be fun. They dotted all over the map. I'm thinking of um. One way of dealing with Spain is have all my armies positioned and ready to go. As well as uh, kicking Sicily and I basically get there. Or to that point currently we're dealing with the Russians. Alright. Done. Wow. France is on a absolute murder fest. We lost 318. The Russians lost 2,406. Yep. The Russians might not be playing nice, but the French are not playing nice either. Don't let him escape. Hit him. Au revoir. Right, so that's another six, no, sorry, 376. Yep, goodbye. Don't pick on the French. Keep telling you that's Russia, you don't listen. Do you? No, you don't. Right. You, monsieur, are going right down. And this army is going to go right there, behind you. Yeah. Then you can go right around there. Right. You, on the other hand, are going to go there. Um, I think you're gonna go there, buddy. You're gonna go there. You need those. We'll give you lance cap. Good lances are always good to have, especially in a uh, defense. You come around and they can get their um, cavalry. I'm um, not their cavalry, artillery. Wrong units again, Valorian. Yeah, I know. Alright, uh, you need to be upgraded. I don't know how many times I tried to do that. You need to be... Re yeah, okay. You already... I'm not. Okay, okay. You need to be there. You need that one there. Ooh, I didn't punish you, did I? No. Hold that one. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, oh, you're welcome, um, this guy. And, um, if you're gonna go live, I will probably raid your channel. Is um, just about to wrap up this one, so uh, yeah. So guys, what's the, um, the progress? Well, other than wiping out the Austrians off the face of the planet by capturing Oldenburg, Prince of Vendium, not much has actually happened, other than the um, the Russians putting up 
the hefty fight. Yeah. Yeah, and the French basically uh, kicking them where it hurts. But they did. As well as that, we finally got Masinov out of Istanbul. And he is currently at uh, Budapest, just there. So Masina Mame Mayan is on the move again. And uh, he has a definite grudge against the uh, the Russians. That he does. He means business. We just don't mention Russia around him, do we? No, we don't. Meanwhile, to the north, just over here, we have, um, hey buddy, how you doing? Thanks for joining me. Sadly, we're just about to wrap up, so, um, you kind of missed the fun. But we're going to raid out to, um, this guy in a minute, so, uh, stick around and we'll do that. Anyway, getting back to this, we have four lots of, um, Imperial Old Guards. And they're making their way all the way over here to East Prussia to meet up with the man, the myth, the legend, the emperor himself, Napoleon Bonaparte. So, um, once that's all done, he will definitely be advancing going this way. And, um, we've got Bernadotte just there, who's going to help out. And uh, you have an artillery piece that can go straight into there. You are now fully fledged. Darth Mod. Darth Mod is um, the mod of choice with this one. Yep, Darth Mod. Never played Napoleon without it. Um, we've got lanes here. And um, Nay is just there. That market just there, and it's ready to pounce on St. Petersburg, which I do know that we were going to go there at the start of this episode, but the fact that it's almost three hours, and I'm getting tired, guys, I really am, I'm going to leave it there before we, I do something really, really drastic and stuff up this campaign. Yeah, as well as that, what's this over here? What is that? Well, that, sir, is uh, Denmark, Norway, attacking the Kingdom of Sweden. Really? Norway, uh, Denmark is going to kick Sweden. I mean, they've already taken over Stockholm, haven't they? Wow. Wow. Okay. Okay. So yeah, that, um, that's the name of the game, guys. And uh, Napoleon is just over there. Moscow is just over there. So, um, he's a few hundred kilometers away, but the Russians know he's coming. So, yeah. So, anyway, guys, that is it. We'll jump back over to the chat. And, uh, wrap up this episode. Thank you, everyone, who has joined me live on Twitch. The support is absolutely epic, guys. Absolutely epic. And, um... We're going to go and raid um, this guy and his channel and um, do all that awesome stuff. Also, for all those who will be watching this over on YouTube, the support over on now is absolutely amazing also, guys. I do know that the time differences, etc. makes it hard for some viewing these streams live, but the support overall, just awesome, guys. It really, really is. As well as that, guys, you can chat with both myself and this guy, Burrito, and all the other guys over on the Complete Total War channel. So, um, I haven't technically got a link up yet, but um, 
if you message me um, or whisper me or whatever the case is or this guy he can link you over to the complete total war discord where you can hang out and um have some awesome fun awesome fun but anyway guys that's it for me i'm out of here i hope to catch you all for the next one but until then please take care stay safe and remember that legends never die bye guys Come <laughs>